go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. We show you the junk that we bought and we tell you what we pay, what we're gonna sell it for, and what, if anything, we're gonna do to it. A lot of times we paint it, make it over, give it new life. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit that subscribe and thumbs up button. And Caitlin, if you would do me a favor and you haven't done so, can you text out the link to this live to our tech subscribers so that way they don't miss out. If you guys want to do the tech subscription, if you just go to jamierayvintage.com, you can sign up for text notifications. That also helps you to never miss a video. So we went live while we were thrifting on Facebook and the people spoke and look what I came home with. <laughs> See, I was like, I want to buy that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if we should buy that. So it was $3.99. We're going to paint it and gonna sell it for $16.95. It's gonna get a, uh, I don't know that I'll do any salt wash or anything on it, but the gold is good. It's not, it's not that bad, but with the shape, it's kind of a little much, I think. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna give it kind of a modern, fresh update. Well, we'll say modern farmhousey fresh. I think it's going to be more European looking. I don't know. You're probably it reminds right. me of something from it could like probably the Middle East. Maybe? It could probably swing like a, like a, if we do the right Turkish? color on it, we could we could pull off like some French country. Or Turkish. Okay. It reminds me of like, you know, with that parable of the oil and the lamp. Yeah. It looks like it's an it oil a, pitcher. It's a fancy lamp. It's a fancy oil lamp. I don't know. Hey, Caitlin. Let's see. Leslie says, wow, on time. <laughs> I, Zeb you know, always aspires for timeliness. But you know what's funny? When he's late, I cannot say anything. The only reason I'm ever late is technical difficulties. No, sometimes Usually the thing out of my control. <laughs> when I'm late, oh my goodness. Sometimes <laughs> I'm such a tease. He'll like throw a fit because we're late. And I'll go in the other room like, well, I gotta brush my hair. We're gonna be an extra minute and then I take it longer. I'm just gonna start going live and talking to you guys at 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> this That's was a dollar fifty. Zeb doesn't like me to talk about that. There's trouble in paradise. There's no trouble in paradise. I got a lot of sun today. There's <laughs> yeah, there's trouble in the back of your neck. It's so hot. I told you to put sunblock on. It feels just fine. It's like it's like a nice heat pad. All right. This was a dollar fifty. This tote's great. I don't know that it's handmade, but it looks handmade. Maybe it was a kit, but it's got the saw marks on the handle like someone cut it out with a jig and it's not entirely perfect. So I'm gonna go handmade, wood shop, something like that. I'm thinking paint with a stencil on each side. I think it'd be super cute. It was $1.50. Painted, it's gonna be $22.95 because we're gonna, we're gonna bring it next level apparently. Well, whenever Zeb does those, it's always like super involved situation. You like gotta paint it, there's wax, there's yes. stencils on both sides, and it looks awesome. Um, Tom, we will definitely keep your bride in our prayers. Yes. All right, so moving on to the next item here. We have quite a bit of seashells today. I, we should have been named this like, we bought all the shells in the store, but these are actually from multiple stores. We went thrifting in three different thrift stores and we saved half for this week and half for next week because next week we're going camping for Father's Day using our new camping gear that we showed you guys a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, we got a thrift ahead. So we half and half. But anyways, this one was $3.99. Where's the price tag on it? Uh, I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't there. see it? You didn't tell me. Maybe it wasn't listed. Well, while she's looking right, for I'll that, for this reminds me of like, I'm ready for King Triton to come up here and just like chill <laughs> out. Um, I, I need that, you know, maybe Aquaman, if oh, you're a little man. more, a little more current. Um, but it's actually a shelf and it has hanging hardware on the back. We found this, where was the price? How much was this? The price is gone. I'm not seeing that or the box of sh Seashells. Did these? Did neither one of these make it? No. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and add them. You are gonna have to. What did you want to know? The price on that one? Yeah. Do you remember? It's not on here. I think it's like four ninety nine. I think you're right. I think it's right there around four ninety nine. Sorry. I I wouldn't like swear my life on it. And it's but. not. It's not actually individual shells. It's it's molded. So it's all one all one piece. But still pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And we're gonna paint it because. I feel like, you know, everybody says that I love white, but I feel like that especially. So what, sh what should we sell this creation With the for? googly eyes? 
I don't know. If you could, if you took a heat gun, you could we're really. Take them off. Yeah, if you took a heat gun, you could get all these shells apart. There's some pretty cool little conch shells in here. Show them that. Ask the people. I'm gonna say twelve ninety five because I feel like that's a solid price for that situation. It's cool. Yeah. All right. So how much would pay for his price on there? Price is was three ninety nine. I don't know why there's eyes on it though. Why are there eyeballs on it? A little googly eye. You know, we're a long way away from the ocean, but a lot of this stuff ends up here because a lot of people travel to like Hawaii, Cancun, uh, California even. But I don't know that you're getting cool shells like this in California. You're not allowed to take the shells off the beach then. When you live where there's snow, everybody travels to the beach. And beach is summer to me, and I'm feeling like super summery. It's got a lot of good shells on it though. Yeah. All right, I gotta add one to inventory. All right, I got that one in there and I'm gonna do the box of shells next. So I'll show them something that's not the box of shells. Okay, so we did get a little bit of Christmas. When I went thrifting with Odilia last week, she's like, oh, we didn't get any Christmas stuff. But I found this at the Goodwill. It was on the top shelf. It was $5.99. I actually kind of like it just like this. It's got like a, almost like a green, um, wash on it and then some brassy gold shiny paint underneath that but just a fun little nativity um, if we it's see these painted. yeah we, if we see these we grab them because you know even if we don't we almost always sell them before the live stream is over but it's because everybody loves Jesus yep um, Oh, if we don't, if we don't sell them right now, they don't take up a ton of space and they sell real good about October, November. Yeah. All right. I think the George these... box and shells is on. Yep. I knew that. It was the box of shells. Okay, this is like a little good. bonus container. I don't know what this is here. Look how big some of these are. Oh, Heidi gave us a super chat. She says for the guac fund when your pool is ready, gotta have chips, salsa, and guac. Oh. And you know that I'm extra like guac. Well, thank you, Heidi. Thanks, Heidi. I'm excited for the pool. This is a complete set right here. Check that out. All right. Fascinated by that. So these shells were in the collectibles at the DI. We found these at various thrift stores. Um, this was $5 for this whole thing. The cool thing about this, show them the big shells, but also it comes with a Vicks Formula 44, like an old glass bottle full of these shells, but I don't know what kind of liquids in it. Maybe it's salt water. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not, it's, me. it's not like weird and gross, so it might be something. Maybe it's oil. All right, I dropped the link to the googly eye seashell creation, just in case anybody wants it, because we are going to get those googly eyes off. Little, this oh, looks Kayla like a little did piece too. Of coral. <laughs> uh, did I buy the nativity, nativity set in the collectibles? The little one I did not. The big one I did. Have you even showed him the big one yet? I have not. I think I'm going to okay. pan the big one. I'm going to bring them down to it. Right oh, now. they noticed. You guys, you didn't notice this last week that this was all sewn? I did this before I left to Pennsylvania. You know what's cool about it? It comes off and I can wash it. And I'm thinking because I'm on a sewing kick, if you watched yesterday's video, that I might sew a couple different ones and change them out seasonally, like for Christmas and spring. So I'm kind of excited about that. All right, so this nativity has its box and its uh, styrofoam um, set up here, but just the box didn't do it justice. It wasn't looking this cool in the box. We're not gonna paint this one, right? No, I love the like colors on this. It's like very water lily. This is like, if there ever was apothecary, it would be right here. Apothecary. Got some styrofoam on you. Oh, sorry. Water lily, sandy blonde, beadboard. Like the coloring on this is all the good things. I love it. The, to me, it has a very like definitely European style nativity. Oh, it's already sold. The nativity, see, that's what I'm telling you guys. If you see the Christmas stuff out in the middle of the summer, just, you know, if you're out there thrifting, just save it and get it. Um, Robert wanted to see under this. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's abalone. like, abalone. <laughs> and this one's loose, but it'll come with it. <laughs> but yeah, it's got an abalone on the bottom. Isn't that cool? I couldn't pass it up. It spoke to me. Oops, I just ran into the Wiseman. 
All right. All right. Uh, we've got a bunch of busts over here too, but show yeah. them. The, show I them thought those. that was cool. I, if you bought it and you want to let people know you bought it, comment. Let me know who bought that set because it's really cool. And if you are tuning in and you're watching the replay, make sure you're hitting the live chat because you can see all who we're talking to and the links. And you can shop at jrbhome.com. And there are some new products, you guys, on JRB Home because we did not do our stay-at-home shopping network last week. And there's new table runners and lace table runners that are a really good deal that Ashley just put up last week. So check those out too. So if you're missing that Thursday video, we've decided to move it off of YouTube. We're going to put it on Facebook. Yeah, we're going to be doing more of the stay at home shopping network on Facebook just because YouTube hasn't liked us doing so many lives. So we decided to cut that one back because it got the least amount of views. And it's going to be intermittent because... We may occasionally still pop on and do a Man, we got a case of the summer around here. Like, I'm a hard worker, <laughs> but I also, I'm enjoying myself some summertime. So we're cutting out one video a week on YouTube. We, we, may, we decided. Maybe we'll bring an edited video. I don't know. So. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. This tray, I saw it and I'm, I, I walked right to it and snagged it when I saw it. It was $4. Little tiered tray. These are excellent. $19.95. Going to clean it up. Not going to polish it. Just make no, sure it's not dirty. We love the tarnish, like plated stainless, silver, or whatever. Love the look of it. I, it probably comes apart. I would assume you can unscrew it, it. So when we ship it, we'll take those Ooh. apart. Part apart. We'll take those apart and put them inside each other and then tape the bag usually to the bottom or whatever. And just wrap it up really tight in bubble wrap. Um, I love when trays come apart like that because it makes shipping so much easier. And just like that, now we've got two trays and uh, some architectural salvage looking stuff. Hey, Viv. Um, let's see. Decor B is here. Amber says she totally has a thing for nativity sets. Um, and then Leslie says, how big are the cold cream milk cans? Um, they are this big, one sold, yep. and one is still available in the shop, but they're this big. So That's we showed those a couple weeks ago, and they never, they didn't get painted, and so I stenciled them last month, I, well, Monday I stenciled them. Okay, moving right along, saw this book. If you see the good coloring on the books, guys, these, this was a dollar. It's going book. to be $3.95 is the price of that book. I usually sell books for about $45 in the shop. This one's skinnier, so I figured $3.95 was a good price. I have no idea um, what it's about, but what is the, the date on the inside? That looks older. The Circle of the Day is the title of the book. It's not got sharp pages. It's kind of... It's got a good red title page. Textured. Sometimes they'll be signed inside, like... Because people gifted books a lot, and so they'd sign them in the year when they were giving them. Hi, I did love that dress. So this is copyrighted in 1943. So it's, it's older. 1943? Yeah. Yeah, it's like almost 80 years old. It even says manufactured in the United States of America. On For A-R-A. -A. I don't know. I just love old books, but we could get... Oh, man, I love each chapter heading. It's got like the date and then the chapter, the date in red. Zeb and I geek out over a few things, and I should warn you that when we get started, we go down rabbit holes. One is old books. We have them all over our house. In fact, Jack the other day was reading one of them. Well, like, he was reading it out loud. I'm like, what are you reading, Jack? It was like older English. He was reading one of the books. I mean, we read them from time to time, but we just love like the typography and the way they're put together. And then we also geek out about like old ephemera. That's why we make decoupage paper because we get to filter through old ephemera to like, I was, put like together. Sitting We're like at, eating breakfast. I, I was sitting at the dining table and the laptop was there because I was waiting for Odelia to get home from a movie, which she was like hour 45 minutes late getting home so the I was, holy ghost goes so, to bed at midnight so i was sitting out there like this back. watching out these front windows seeing <laughs> making sure she arrived with who she left with you know she's so good <laughs> except for she was late we had to have a talk about that but anyways yeah. he was staying up late he was looking at ephemera <laughs> yeah i was like i was just going through that's why the computer was out there so we had breakfast there and i'm like going through like old bicycle ad they call them advertisements when they're from uh, from the UK. Oh, the Whimsy Large Vintage Treasure said, from Pennsylvania, I'm stopped at your shop on Wednesday. I'm on a five month RV trip. Which stop did you go to? I'm really curious, um, the Whimsy Large Vintage Treasures. Barbara says, be the dad. Zeb, hi, says Rave Home Staging. Hey, what's up? All right, so this jewelry is box. a little interesting picture on the website. You'll see the jewelry box and the shells. My intent is to salt wash the jewelry box and then glue the, the shells on the top and kind of salt wash around them to make it look like a vintage 
French encrusted jewelry box. It's gonna be cool. So we paid three dollars for the bag of shells. Three ninety nine for 3 this. Three ninety nine for this, and I'm gonna sell it together when it's all done for twenty two ninety five. Sometimes I do that. I buy like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then we mix them together and remake them. So I don't know that that's happening tonight, but that is what's going to happen. If you guys recall, that's a pretty a few, involved project yeah, for a live stream. It's a lot of steps. But if you watched our video a few weeks back, there's a mirror that I did with shell molds, not actual seashells. It's gonna be a very similar effect on that, only this time it's gonna be better because it's gonna be real seashells. I'm gonna just get some of these like coppered or, or uh, bronzed baby shoes, you know, like these, and I'm just gonna tell the kids, yeah, those are mine. Well, those are like antique, <laughs> like super yes. old. The bottom are hey, leather. These could have very well been my baby shoes. I'm getting old. You're not that old. I am. Um, and the leather was worn out. You can kind of see that they were really well worn. Um, yeah. I saw baby shoes upwards of 30 to $40 bronze baby shoes. These ones are really cool. I paid $5 for the set and we're going to sell them for $14.95. I think they look really cute in vignettes. It would be cute decor in a baby room. You can see the wear on the actual shoe, though. Let's see. I'm just looking. It was probably went through several kids because these are. Oh, Lisa said that the abalone shell on that shell statue, we'll call it, uh -huh. is worth alone by twenty-five dollars. She has sixteen boxes of shells. Yeah. I sent a it's bunch big. of abalone to uh, Debbie. Well, so this <laughs> one's back. this one's really big and it's cool. It's got like holes in the back of it that I've not seen like that. Look, this could be like a bathing suit, a mermaid bathing suit. <laughs> Look at these things. Aren't they great? I feel like Wouldn't there's you a think sea... my collection's complete? I, can be a little I feel like there's a C cup uh, joke coming. <laughs> I don't think there's abalone in this one. Though. So if you guys remember, Odelia and I found <laughs> one of these. On. We're just going to skip right over the, that. <laughs> Mermaid bikini. So we found one of these. We have the little short one. We painted it in water lily and white waxed it. And then we were at the same thrift store a week later, and they had two of these out, and I got them. So, you know, now they're gonna, are they going to be a complete set? I don't know. I think they're gonna we're gonna make them we're gonna keep them together because the other one hasn't sold if yet. If you ever get a box that's damaged, make sure you email um, info at jamierayvintagehome.com mm -hmm. or customer care at jamierayvintage.com. We can because help you. Even if it says damaged on it, we will put the claim in to them and we will take care of your order. So yeah. Caitlin is really good about that. Sometimes stuff happens. Everything always leaves good when it leaves us, but it goes hundreds of miles, but don't make sure that we take care of that. Oh, I forgot to mention this one was $2. <laughs> Not too shabby says, sorry, a C cup of lolly. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so these were, this one was $2. This one was also $2. Apparently no discount for shortness. Um, and the set, it, did you make it a whole complete set with no, the No, just other one? these two are $22.95. Oh. They will be painted water lily and white wax. And if you scroll down in the Thrift Talk collection, you can see what it'll look like because we have the baby one that goes with a set for sale independently and it's already water lily and white wax. So we we're could just make gonna, it all one set. It hasn't We could, yet. but right now we're not gonna because I did. Light. But when I get these painted, then if it hasn't sold by then, then I'll put them all in one set and press them together. All right. Uh, there is water in the pool, but I'm not swimming in it because it's not been shocked. It's got dirt in it. Came out of the fire hydrant. Came out of the fire hydrant. They gotta clean it all. They use like uh, not culinary water for it right now. They, yeah. The fire hydrants actually have to be drained out every year if there hasn't been a fire, like they can't leave the water in. I don't know if you've ever walked by a fire hydrant and seen the water shooting out. And because we're in a water shortage right now, um, they contact the city and the city allows them to just pump the water out of it. So then they're not wasting it, it's going in our pool, but they've gotta clean it and shock it and pay a guy to go in there and. Yeah, they got to clean it situation. like three times before they hand it over to us. Okay, so these were a dollar. Leslie bought the cold cream milk can. Woo -woo. All right. These were a dollar, and I'm like, Jamie, what are those little, little cupcake They're holders? mini tins. They're little baby tins. People use them for crafting wreaths. 
they put little like for Easter they'll put like a little bunny and fake jelly beans and make little place settings out of them they're really cute I think it's 395 for all of them yes I paid a dollar for all of them and I'm selling the set for 395 how many are in the set it looks like know. 11 one There's two 11. three four five six that's less than 39 seven, eight, cents of tin. Nine, ten, <laughs> 11. they're tart shells Barbara says hey you guys can you do me a huge I don't favor hate. Can someone Google what the score of the Jazz and Clippers game is right now? <laughs> I was watching it up until about three minutes before we went Virginia, live. Virginia, it's not a chlorine pool. It's a hybrid salts and chlorine system. So it's both. It's mostly salt, but has some chlorine in it. Okay. I don't really understand how it all works, but I read it uh, about it like a million years ago when I researched it and it was like the best system. <laughs> so there you go. All right, these were 99 cents each. And we pay we, oh, we paid I think we paid two dollar dollar ninety nine for four because these were in a bag and then these guys were separate on the top of the shelf at the Goodwill and we paid a dollar for each of these, but we're selling them for four ninety five. These are the little busts that I used to get when I would do really good on piano lessons or in like uh, like if I pass some stuff off for the oh I don't want I to call it a concert but. But These are all the concert. musicians, and I don't, I mean, I'm not really a music connoisseur, but I've been seeing these in all of the cool, like, European-inspired vignettes. There's busts, and I thought these were really cute. So we're going to do, like, a stone-type finish with um, salt wash and weathered wood and white wax, and they're, like, a hard resin. They're going to look really cool. So I'm going to sell them for $4.95 each. Let's see. When buying milk paint, what is the normal ship time? Um, we ship when within 10 a, business days. When there's a but sale. But if it's a sale, it can take a little bit longer because you have to realize like when we normally, we get so many orders like a week and then when we have a sale, we get like five times more orders. So okay. we actually have all the paint and Ivy and Brittany are working their way through. Back in the day when we had milk paint sales before Sasha was making it herself and she had to order it in. Sometimes it would take six weeks. It was insane. Yeah. But all milk paint orders that were ordered for the sale should be out, shipped out by the end of next week. All right. So this was a dollar. This is just a nice light wood rolling pin. When you get them light wood like this, hang on to them because they're good. Yeah. We're going to paint the handles in mint chip. Okay. And seal them. And it's going to be ten ninety five, and we paid $1 for it. You're welcome, Angela. If you ever have questions, so you can always email customer care at jamiereyvintage.com. Yep. Caitlin will help you out. She's awesome. All right, so we initially thought that this was a napkin holder, but this is actually a brass letter holder. We paid $2 for it. Jamie checked it out online. They're selling for upwards of $40 for these things. So I thought it was a napkin hold holder, <laughs> and I bought it because somebody came into my shop the other day and said, do you have any napkin holders? And I was like, wait a second, I don't. But then when I looked it up online, I looked up vintage Teleflora napkin holder because it, it's from Teleflora, um, about 1982, so maybe more retro than vintage. But it showed up as a letter holder, and it's brass. It's just beautiful. 1982 was almost 40 years ago. You can totally call it vintage. That's the year I was born. It is past the retro stage. <laughs> oh, Anna says, awesome. She ordered a bunch of milk paint. Can't wait. I can't wait to see what you do, Anna. It's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, pick this up. This was cool. This is just from Golden Corral. It's not super Barbara, old. the pigments... The pigments are available for pre-order now. They will be shipping the end of this month. So you can order them now or you can wait till they come in. We have already ordered them from DIY Paint and should have them shortly. And then they'll give us a release date when we can actually ship them. Yep, they're waiting to ship out until everybody has theirs. So we can't release yeah. them till she said everyone's June, received their order. So end of June, beginning of July. Okay, so just a fun little, it's kind of like a hermetic seal on there. It's a cheese crock. But it's from Golden Corral. We're gonna peel this off and do something cool IOD on this little crock. It was a dollar, and I forgot to write the price on this. Maybe this one didn't make the cut either. Is this also not available? Is that not on there? Because I just went down the list on So your job when you do that is to say, I didn't find this. I didn't see that it wasn't found. <laughs> well, you didn't price it. Okay, um, I'm going to list that one for twelve ninety five, and we're going to put an IOD transfer on it. I swear. Is it in there and I, I just missed it? 
hold on. I don't know. All right. How much is it? What? It was one dollar, but it's gonna be twelve ninety five. But that's because I'm putting an IOD transfer on it, so I'm gonna make it look like an old crop. I've got the picture of it. All right, we were undecided on this in the thrift store. We went back and forth and we actually set it on the shelf and then went back by and picked it up again. Um, it's just a pewter, looks like an ice cream scoop. It's got a fleur de lis on it, but then it's got this uh, kind of ribbed handle. But we, uh, we ended up picking it up because we're like, you know, it's pretty unique, it's cool, we're gonna get it. it um, how much did, was this a dollar? That was a dollar because it didn't have a price tag on it, okay. and that's what they gave it to us for. So um, it'll be six ninety five, and even if you don't use this for anything, I think it'd just be cool in like a collection. All right, the cheese crock is now it's live. Up, it's up there. <laughs> it's live. I don't know if the picture's uploading, but it's working on it. So home. these Le Parfait, we actually sell similar jars at jrvhome.com. But we found these in the wilds, and when you find stuff that you would buy wholesale, you grab it. <laughs> yeah, these are a little bit older. I don't know if they still make this style. The price tag on the bottom says $8.99. That's what they would sell for at the store. We bought them. Um, these are from the container store. Fancy. Mm -hmm. We paid $1 each for them, and we're selling the set for $10.95, and they are from France. So we're selling them for like... Five fifty, right? Instead did you of say nine. twelve ninety five? No, they were regularly eight ninety nine. How much you sell them for this? Ten ninety five for two. Oh yeah, about five fifty. And they are in good condition. Five so. forty. And we don't sell this size, so I don't know if they yeah, make it's a it little and bit I can't order it. But I would say it's about a quart. Yeah, it looks but like it's, it's in French size, so it's like milliliters. It looks like it's like a quart size, but pint it. shaped. <laughs> like sometimes it says, it doesn't say. I don't see what it says. I have to pour it. Does it stay in there? It does no. not. I don't know. I would say it's pretty close to a quart. But if you guys order multiple times tonight, you can combine the shipping if it is within 24 hours of the live sale. And email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin will combine to what your shipping would have been um, if you would have ordered all at once. Because I know sometimes it gets a little crazy, so I just want to remind you guys to email her. Did you get that up on there? Yes, I did get this on here. This was $1.99. It's going to get glued because it's like, I think, I don't know which one. This one is loose. The rest are all tight. Oh, no. They all need glue. They all need glued, okay? So we're going to glue this in there. So I'm just going to make sure it's structurally sound. I called it a mug wrap because I actually think this would be super cute, like in a hot cocoa or a coffee bar. Um, but you could also put bracelets on here. And I don't know what the price is because... She didn't have it up before I was marking everything. Yeah, this one you told me wasn't on there. You did your job with this one. Let me see if I can find it. We thrifted uh, this for 50 cents. 12.95, sorry. And Odelia claimed it before it made it to the This little piggy is going all the way to Odelia's room. She's gonna put a succulent in it. Zeb told me not to buy it because it had a little chip, but it was 50 cents and it's a cute little vintage piggy. Comment if you would have bought this for 50 cents. There's no way. I would have sold it probably for like $4.95, maybe $3.95, like not a ton. But once you put a succulent in here, you won't see the little chip in the top anyways. So these fun little containers were in the collectibles under the glass. They weren't necessarily expensive, $10 for the set, so like $3.33 each. But we're going to paint them up. It'll be awesome. How much are we? Did I put the sticker on these? <laughs> painted, these are gonna be $39.95 for these all are, of them. These are not just to be painted in wax, but I'm also gonna put IOD transfer on them. I'm gonna do these tonight. They're metal. They're gonna be painted apothecary with white wax with the Flora Persiensis transfer. Hand, on pin, we have Pinterest, I don't know if you guys follow us there. Um, on January Vintage Pinterest, our number one pin, pin, pinned pin. Um, is a mirror that I painted and put, I painted apothecary, I did white wax, She's taking her pig before Odea I It came down the stairs all <laughs> tiptoeing and she snagged that pig. Um, it has a apothecary white wax with a flora parasiensis. It's my number one pin pin, so I'm going to recreate that tonight on this set. I think it's going to look really good. So these actually have a little chain inside of here, so you can never lose the lid. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and when I ship them, I will ship them like that. So that way they don't... This is all tin, but I wouldn't want that to like 
break off. It's pretty welded well. Uh, I think it's uh, they're metal, and I think that's welded on there. I think Mitchell should... is out for a possible injury. Oh no! Yep. What happened? And the score is 98 Jazz, 118 LA. Oh yeah, they 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 they've been. F LA got on their home court and they came alive. Marlene says, is that my mirror? Girl, you know it is, Marlene bought. For a while I did like multiple of those mirrors because I could not keep them in stock. Um, and Marlene bought like the very, I think like one of the first or the second ones that I sold. So I think it is Marlene's mirror, but I wouldn't swear to it. I don't remember. But yours is very similar, Marlene. I'm gonna show you some up close like. cow action. Disclaimer, I did not realize the cow has the teeny tiniest chip on his foot and I did not put that in the listing. So I'm telling you now, and when we're no longer live, I will what are you talking put about? it in the description on the creamer. So this guy's completely missing his leg and he's got chipped ears. What? <laughs> well, okay. You better fix that. Caitlin, can you put that in the listing? Sorry. This guy has had a rough life on the farm, but it's still super cute. And also, like, they don't have the little, like, thing. But honestly, I ain't, I ain't putting my salt and pepper out of this anyways. But I couldn't leave this set. So this was $1.90 or $2.95 because these were in the little wall baggies. I'm going to sell for $12.95. And you get the cow creamer. And you get the cow salt and pepper shakers. And Zeb disclaimed that it does have some authentic battle damage. But the set is really cute, and I would totally. It's okay. It. He just looks like he's chilling out a little bit when you set him down. <laughs> I didn't notice that. That I like. Oh, it wasn't the creamer. I saw this, like the little chip, but I did not see that situation. That's okay. He's still cute. Okay, so someone was like, "Don't get these. Don't don't get them." But we got them because Jamie Jamie loved the crystal, and it's. It's the uh, Royal Limited 24% full leaded crystal made in the Czech Republic. So that's a photo set, and we paid uh, what, $1.50 each? Mm -hmm. Was it on there? Yeah. And then, did you already give them the price? I wasn't listening. No, but it's going to be $9.95. $9.95 for the set. So we paid three bucks for the pair, and we're selling for $9.95, and they are crystal. And then we've got these are also beautiful crystal. And you can tell it's crystal because it's heavy, it's shiny, and be very careful, but do you hear the cling? So if they don't have a sticker, but you can, crystal just sounds different than glass. And these are beautiful. Some, I think somebody already bought those. So these are $1.50 and we're selling the set for $16.95. They're $1.50 each. Odelia has to slow her roll when it comes to collectibles because we come in contact with a lot of them and she wants to buy them. What are those? $16.95 for the pair? Mm -hmm. I paid three bucks for that set, and I think that's sold. I'm not sure. So this is a functional, like, little teapot. Yeah, be careful. It has the cutest little ruffle bottom. It reminds me reminds me of Mrs. Potts a little bit. Yes, the saucy little teapot from Beauty and the Beast. All right, so how much was that one? Three dollars. Uh, three dollars, and we're selling it for twelve ninety five. It's the, not actually old. It's yeah, just it's from it's from Pepper Tree Tables Tops. Fine. Porcelain. Adelia says cows are her favorite, but she also likes elephant, but she also likes pigs. Can you see where when your mom deals in junk, how that could be a problem? So we have to like really, do you really love it? <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you guys these little flowers and then I'll come back around. I got, right. I got up here showing stuff close. She got the cow creamer. Caitlin, did you get the link to the teapot? Is that one? I know it's up there. All right. So this we bought the yellow rose platter and it was priced separately but they gave it all to us for four dollars so it's a server with a lid it's not a soup tureen it doesn't have a spoon or a hole for a spoon and then it's the platter the platter does have some flea bites in the bottom of it but show them the bottom it's like somebody made it i don't know how they made it and put those flowers on there but it's 1979. merry christmas mom 1979. Oh, the sold. Whoop, whoop. somebody else like mrs potts so the whole set is selling for $19.95? Yep. That's a good deal. I hope somebody likes yellow roses. I thought that was really pretty. All right. This is a, like a soup tureen. And you get the platter and the server with the lid. Would, you, would we call this Ironstone? So it's California Pottery. It's USA. And what's the number on the bottom? 663. 663. I paid $5 for it in the collectibles. It comes with a spoon. I didn't notice any chips. But the lid is six six five. Six six. So it's a whole set. 
Did I have a Dr. Pepper tonight? I had a diet Dr. Pepper with my Chinese food. <laughs> um, and the citrine is going to be $24.95. So it's um, classic, like, California stoneware. We always do really well with those. If you, like, do any kind of cottage, farmhouse, French country, iron stone, California pottery, never leave it. Always buy it. Tell them about this real quick. There's a fun little surprise in this box. I'm going to go get a clock that we thrifted. It's not up on the website. We're going to paint it, do a bunch of stuff to it. Did it needs a bunch of repairs. I think that's everything. We showed them the box. We got to get to paint. We got a lot of stuff to paint. We only have 30, 25 minutes. Oh, left. 25 minutes is plenty of time. Okay, well, I, I'm just picking one thing to work on. Okay, so I'm super excited about what's in this little box. We have subscription boxes. The next round of subscription boxes, if you've already signed up, will be shipping the end of July. But this subscription box is going to be going out the end of June, and it's going to be quarterly. And it's going to always be like one month prior to the other subscription boxes. And I did that because I know a lot of you guys don't want a ton of money coming out on the same month. So I staggered it a little bit. This one is $28.95 and it's a DIY box, but it's a DIY beauty box. So Caitlin just put this up on there and it comes with all of the things you need to make your own JRB bath salt. So you've got the um, pink salt, dried florals with the pineapple, the Epsom salt, comes with the dead sea salt, as well as coconut milk with rose clay mix-ins for your sea salt. It also comes with the essential oil. Um, all of the ingredients are listed. Everything will always be the same, like all of our JRB beauty products, so it'll be grain-free, it'll be dairy-free, soy-free, um, as and it's all natural, no additives, organic when possible, and it comes with a little scoop. Oh, and all the ingredients. I didn't even see the scoop. Let me show them close. Yeah, look how cute that is. It comes with all the things you need to make your own salts. It's perfect for gift giving for yourself, and it's going to be a quarterly subscription box. And it's every month or every quarter. It's going to be a little bit different, um, and it's basically like a craft box for Bath and Beauty. So I thought it'd be fun, and it'd be I thought it'd be fun for you guys to know what goes in all the products. So if you ever did want to make your own beauty products, you would know what the raw ingredients needed are. So super excited about that. We have 100 of these boxes and that's all that we're doing for this first quarter. They're already made because we're gonna be shipping them out the last month in June. The last so week. I, or sorry, the last month. <laughs> the last week in June. So I pre-purchased all the boxes, they're ready to go and ship. So once we hit 100, we won't be doing any more until the next quarter. So I wanted to let you guys know that this just went up on JRB Home. Uh, if you guys haven't signed up for the next craft box, it's going to be horrible. And we'll have the sample kit shown next week. So, whoop, I'm shaking all over the place. This had some metal kind of finial like things. They were bent. One was missing. We took them off. I kind of like the look of it just with those off. Um, Jamie's dad sliced his hand open on one, so he's not allowed to come close to stuff with metal on it anymore. And they were weird. Like, I wasn't happy with them. The face the, is pretty good, but I think we're going to redo it. The, so the clock doesn't work as it sits, and so we're actually going to kind of make it look Mora inspired. So we're going to paint the face and stencil a Mora clock on it and replace the mechanism with a new mechanism so that way it works well. We paid $25 for it. It'll probably sell somewhere in the $300 range by the time we're done um, because it's going to be awesome. So this, if you guys watch my stories, you can see Zeb manhandling this clock all the way out because he doesn't like to wait for them to bring it out to your car. So if he can bear hug it, he's like, I'll just take it out. We're good. So this clock is going to be our video that's going up Monday. So make sure you guys hit that notifications bell so you don't miss that video. Uh, Remy says, Zeb walking past Jamie with a large clock was hilarious. That's basically every time we go thrifting. We also bought, and you probably won't see them for a while, these giant, are you grabbing them? Um, no, I'm grabbing oh, a towel. We bought these giant, they probably were like pillars to a king size bed, and we're going to make them look like antique columns. I don't know when that's going to happen, but... Zeb totally just hauled those out himself, too. <laughs> All right, Zeb's grabbing a um, cloth so that we can get painted. And I'm going to see if there's any questions. Oh, 
Rainbow 505, I got the shell corbel. I love it the way it is. Are you planning to paint it? I was, but if you love it the way that it is, I will leave it. Um, just comment and let me know that for sure you want it left as is, and we will change the listing and put a note in there that it will not be painted. So I'm gonna leave that aside. It is really cool the way that it is. So this is what I used to spray on in the last video, this moving blanket, and it just, it just got voluntold to be a drop cloth. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move stuff out of the way. But don't open it up because all that milk paint, that first crush that was flaking off is on the inside of it. Some of the stuff already sold, so I got to move it out of the way. All right, yeah, don't, don't fling paint. Okay, we're gonna get to painting. I'm gonna paint the handles on this right off the bat because that's easy. And I'm calling it. Okay. This, this is mint chip. Did you, did you say we're gonna do that in part fresh? Um, no, mint chip. Did I say part fresh? I, I think you I, did. I don't know, comment below, did I say I was painting that? Well, it's getting painted mint chip, so. I'm gonna do it right now. Mint chip is like the Can perfect vintage green. Can you guys see what we got going on here, all right? I think well, so. That's chunky. It's, it's gonna old. be good. All right, so it's these actually were the originally $12 for the set of three, but nobody bought them for that price. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this, and then on the center part, oh. it's actually really clean and good, but we'll give it a little sand just in case. Happy 49th anniversary to Diane Johnson. Ooh, Diane, that is amazing. Congratulations. Her, her and her cute hubby come into our store all the time and he is just a darling of a man. He's always really, really sweet. He lets her get whatever she wants and he carries it all out to the car for her. And that is a keeper. Every time I see him, we also like swap woodworking stories. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you commiserate junk buying wives. No. No, he's, he's, uh, he's built some stuff. He's built some stuff. He's really cute. He's a cutie. I can see why they've been married for 49 years. All right, so I'm painting this apothecary, and then it's going to get white wax and a transfer. You know, we used to paint a ton of stuff mint chip. Yeah, I love mint chip. Sometimes I lighten it because it is really, really bright. But it is she a cuts very... it with a little white swan little white swan situation just depends on what it is i gotta get up underneath these leaves on here i might just do one of these because i want to get through all the steps okay. so we will have to use their imagination to i think that they can imagine it um vivian says that i said mint chip and kai says he is a keeper oh and uh kirsten said that i said mint chip too oh i heard for whatever reason, I I swear I heard arm fresh. Um, Polari mom, these pants I am wearing will I have more colors. You know what? I so these are the cropped pants, but I'm kind of short, so I would just call them floods in my department because they're only five <laughs> four. They are super comfy and they have pockets, and I think they're like fifteen ninety five with free shipping at on the website, so they're a good price point. But I don't know if they have other um, colors. I got a good deal on them, which is why they're only fifteen ninety five, including the shipping. So I will look, if they have more, I'll get them. I love cropped pants for summer because I don't like it when my pants drag the ground when I'm wearing flip flops or like my Birkenstocks. So cropped pants are kind of my go-to. All right, so I think, I'm, I, I really do think that mint chip would be a little bit too bright on this. Piece. Yeah, I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry brush my mint chip brush over here and then get most of that paint off and I'm gonna paint it white and bring back, cause it's already got some kind of green, almost like a sage type color and the gold. Can you see that green on there? I'm gonna bring that back. We're just gonna lightly brush Could it. Could you grab the heat gun or is it still yeah. over there? Um, it's over here. Would you I grab, grab that for me, yeah. sweetie? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, and I'm gonna need some sort of like liquid top coat. Yeah. I'm gonna put a transfer on this. You don't have to use a liquid top coat. You can let it set up, you can wax it, let it cure. But when I'm in a hurry, I use it, I seal it, and then I put a transfer. You get the best adherence from a liquid top coat. So, all right. Oh, that's good. says she loves it as is. What did you? Oh, she loved the nativity as is, but she is, she'll also love whatever you do to it, too. It is good. Like, it's not bad how it is. You know what? I almost left it as is, but whoever did this green wash IRL in real life, it's pretty bad. Like, I think it was gold, and somebody tried to 
verdigree it, but it's not a good job, which is why I'm doing it. Otherwise, I would leave it. The back isn't bad, but like under his neck, it's not good. Okay. Patricia says, Jamie with a question mark. I don't know. Oh. Hold on, let me get my kitchen screwdriver out. Oh, Rainbow says, great, leave it as is. All right, thank you. Um, and Barbara bought the baby shoes. She, Shelly Dean's request. I will try. Can you paint the candlesticks the same as the one from last week? Yes, Yeah, Shelley. we are. The one last week was um, water lily with white wax, and we were planning on painting them all to match. So the I picture's not that. great. I took it real quick in the shop. We had yeah. to run out, and we didn't have an updated picture for it, so I just snapped it real quick in the shop. But it is very like a beautiful light blue with the white wax on it and barbara i'm totally not surprised that you brought bought the baby shoes it's kind of funny like i i like to see what people buy especially when it's my junk that i buy because i feel like that's really indicative of people's style and there's sometimes people will buy things i'm like yep i knew they were gonna buy that because i kind of know what people like after so many junk hauls and seeing what people buy so I'm glad you got those. They're super, super cute. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Barbara says she loves them. I couldn't leave them. So I was like, what you buy those shoes for? I'm like, they're super cute. And then when I looked them up online. The baby shoes? Like, yeah. No, those are okay. I, I, was I was just like shocked when I looked them up online how much they go for. I was like, wow. People like them. And I actually was also shocked about the letter holder because I saw it some places upwards of 50 bucks. I was like, wow. You know, this is this with the little bit of mint chip in here cut with the white is really kind of cool. That's mint chip where? It's mint chip with white in it. Can you see? Uh, no, it looks mostly just white to me. No, it's it's got you got it's got a hint of mint chip on here because I did not it's got clean the my essence of mint chip. Yeah, I did not clean my brush. You did not paint your brush? I didn't clean it. Oh, I thought you said paint. No. I can't hear guys ever her since her ears since she's flown like it's like they got a pop and she can't hear she's got to go to someone and get it looked I bad. have the irrigation kit so I might just get Zeb to help me tomorrow ain't nobody got time to go to the doctor I got the kit will you paint the milk can apothecary the milk can is already painted with a stencil on it Leslie yep so it's paint, it was painted black. I actually, I actually only put the um, the stencil on it. If you don't like the stencil and you want an apothecary for you, I would do it. So just DM me so that way I know. Um, so be careful because this will melt. What? <laughs> oh, look what you've done. Look what I did. Thanks, Michelle. My hair looks cute. I did this, if you watched the beginning of the video, I tied it up because I knew it was going to get in the way. I just took a shower. Deb and I have been working outside in the yard. I helped my dad plant a garden. I used those Hungarian baby bathtubs to make a little raised garden and then some of our big like cast iron tubs. Basically, she put them out there to tease Han and Chewie. She put them right outside of their, their, their gate and they can smell the new fresh plants but they can't reach them through the Hot and chewy are our, our baby doll sheep. Um, I did give them some strawberry leaves and Han does like the strawberry leaves. But I found these strawberries at Home Depot that have like the most bright pink and like magenta flowers. I'm just using water by the way. I should tell you what I'm doing. I'm wet distressing it um, and bringing back the metal color before I seal it. Um, anyways. And they're so cool. I'm really excited about those. But I'm trying to plant a few things because my backyard is torn up with the pool. And I'm oh. hoping when it gets put in, then it'll be pretty. I want it to look pretty. I don't want the pool to just be a pool. It's all about the ambiance of the yard. I've spent all day because they, you know, the, the sprinkler system went right through the middle of the backyard where the pool's at. So they basically had to chop out all of the backyard sprinklers just to get it. So I've been spending all day today trying to repair that. And I got it all hooked up and one set of rotors turns on all the time, they never turn off, and the other set won't turn on at all on the north side of the yard. So I gotta figure that out. <laughs> and they're coming Monday to bury it all up. Leslie, so, 
We'll okay. see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's because we forgot to change the words, but I will totally, totally um, paint an apothecary for you. I'll grab that next week. Oh, it says will be painted? Yeah, because when we once we put the new picture up of the paint, which not, in this case oh, was You know what? The, I changed it and I forgot to say yeah, that, it. Yeah, that. It was that. Anyway. It was me. I um I always take take out the will be painted once it's painted and we're putting the painted picture up, but that didn't do it. But we will take care of it. Um let's see. I'm almost done. I'm gonna oh, give you guys a close up of this. Leslie says, No, I like it saying cold cream. Well, it will go in my bathroom. Alright, so you don't want to paint it, Leslie. <laughs> Just email us what you want, Leslie. I'll take care of it. Oh, I do not want it painted. Got it. We are on the same page. Well, it's already been painted. I just forgot to say, change the text on the I listing. Good, it. I didn't paint it in the box here. Okay, I need a... I, we've had a lot of sun today. That's why yeah. I have a diet dog. Well, I don't know about you guys. Has it been hot where you guys are at? It's unseasonably hot. Like we had a cold day, like on Thursday, that was randomly 44 degrees at night. And then it's gonna be almost a hundred tomorrow. I'm gonna to use this old. Oh no! It's I think it was it. in the high nineties today, like ninety six, ninety seven, something like that. That was hot. A few weeks ago, I was sick, and somebody's like, "Let's." Which have a Jamie you know, show. we're from Arizona. Everybody expects us to be used to the heat. I've never liked the heat ever, not one day in my life. And we're from northern Arizona. I'm from northern Arizona in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, a few weeks ago, I was sick. I had a cold, it wasn't the Rona. And somebody's like, what's wrong with Jamie? So I was like, I can't be grumpy today, even though I'm tired, I gotta, I gotta be on my A game. This has so much little I detail to Come paint. On. I know, right? Like that looks way smaller than this and I'm already de-sealing it. I've already distressed it. So this paint is water soluble. Um, so if you want to distress it, you can with water and then you just seal it and then water won't take the paint off. And I'm sealing this because I'm about to put transfer on it. And I'm gonna white wax it too. You can white wax over the sealer. And, this, and the white wax can act as the sealer over the top of the transfer. There's not gonna be any need to go um, over the transfer with a liquid sealer if I'm gonna wax it. Especially in this application because it's decor. Wax is going to be just fine. You really should, if you're doing this at home, let it dry on its own. I'm gonna heat gun it. Somebody asked why we don't use a hair dryer. I use a heat gun because it's actually quieter than a yeah, hair dryer and it, it dries it a lot faster. It's hotter than a hair dryer, so it's faster. Okay. I'm gonna steal your heat gun from But me. I have been known to use a blow dryer when I didn't have a heat gun. Oh, I was gonna dry this, but I'll let you dry yours first. Okay. It won't take mine long to dry. I, I was, it's small and I was doing some mostly dry brushing. Okay, so Les says she doesn't like the heat. She's miserable. I'm sorry, Les. Um, this is the transfer that's going to be going on this piece. Leslie says she wanted to bought those containers, but she has too many. I get it. I mean, you only have so many containers that you need. Carts and Millie. She's in Australia, so they're having winter right now. Arctic blasts, huh? That sounds crazy. These used to come in a tube, but now they come in a thought pack, which we all know that I love so much more. All right, I'm gonna have to vote this blanket off the island as a uh, drop cloth, just because you can't use the heat gun around it. It just oh. like melts whatever this fabric is. Oh, Delia, would you bring me those scissors you're using to cut out those ties for the primary kids for church tomorrow? I need it for my transfer. I'm hoping she's still watching. Uh, what transfer will be going on the globe? I don't know about the globe yet. I haven't figured that out quite yet. I got to paint Probably, it. Probably um, part of the floral anthology. But until we actually get it painted and see the layout, I'm not sure. It'll be some sort of floral. Or maybe butterflies. Thanks, Odelia. My lovely assistant, Odelia, brought me scissors. All right. Now, oh, let me show you before I wet distress. I'll come wet distress close up because this is a small piece. It's probably hard to see on camera. Okay, so 
You can see I was struggling to get full coverage. There's a couple of little peekaboos, but not gonna sweat that because the wet distress is gonna bring that all oh. right back. Grass plug in over here. I have some puddling of my top coat there. I'm gonna get that out so it doesn't. There we go. And this is this is a much better look than that. That sage green is a great color, but they they did weird stuff with it. They tried to <laughs> they tried to use it like a glaze is what yeah. it looks like. The gold is great though. It's like coming back and it's really pretty. So I'm just heat gunning this top coat so it'll dry and I will let it cool down. I'm not going to be putting the transfer on hot metal. That would not end well. And if you're doing this at home, just let it dry naturally. Don't get the heat gun and you'll get much better results from naturally dried paint and transfer, but. Oops, kicked the camera. All right, I'm gonna, I didn't like how it made Mary's nose all shiny, so I just put a couple dabs back there on her face. Mary appreciates you buffing her nose. I feel this makes it look like almost like more of a plaster. Amber says it's so fun watching you do it, knowing that it's going to be mine. I'm glad you trust us enough to buy something before we paint it. All right. I'm gonna paint the globe, I think. So the reason we're painting it is because it does have a chip over here, which is not a huge deal, not a real big chip in that, but they're fun to, they're fun to paint and put transfers on anyway. So what are you gonna paint it? Uh, I was gonna, are you gonna do apothecary? Uh, I don't, so I, 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 I feel like the flowers no. are too big on this for that. But yes. the floral anthology, it might be okay. What if I painted this white? And then the flowers like let them shine. I, I wouldn't do it white. I think white's kind of boring on that. So okay. you guys heard that here. White is too boring for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see. All right. What are you doing? I'm contemplating so what color. I'm, I'm, it's a really hard decision because I've got white and mint chip, and mint chip is going to be too bright on that. Is this the? This is the largest one of the three, so maybe I'll go with this big flower here. Oh, you know what? All right, so hear me out. I'm hearing you. What if, what if we did the weathered wood and then white wax the whole thing? Okay, but you're not gonna put a transfer on it? After, I'm gonna put it on after. After you wax it, I would- No, no, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the transfer on and then white wax. Okay. All right, I have eyelash situation. Sorry if you guys Ooh, see. Oh, I've got me. white paint. I gotta wash. After I lashes. shower, sometimes I get loose lashes and I did not brush them, and they're bugging me. All right, so this is dry. It's still a little warm. It's drier on this side and not as warm, so I'm gonna do this side. I'm just gonna put a transfer on one side, and it would be a lot easier to do it on the flat side, but I think it's gonna be a lot more interesting on the not flat side. So why not? So we sell these transfers in this paint at jamiemarievintage.com. We probably should have told you like a million years ago where to get the products. I think Caitlin's been dropping but links. Caitlin's been dropping links. But like on the replay, people- You guys like, know where to get this. And if you're brand new, now you know. So these transfers, the new flat packs, you guys, they come off so much easier. When we're doing texture stuff, we're like, oh, I'm so glad. Whatever they did, however they changed up how they make them, it's fantastic. So when you're doing it on a bumpy surface like this has this, just know that it could crack and chip a little because it's not a flat surface. That's what we're going for. But if you do not like that in your transfers, then pick a flat surface because it is definitely going to crack and chip and be difficult. And this would actually go on a lot faster if this wasn't still warm and freshly sealed. So I'm going to have to work it a little. You always think painting a globe will be easy, you know? Angela says, I bought the globe and I think anything will be awesome. All right, Angela, we'll see how this turns out. Do we have time? Oh, it's like 9.29 right now. 
That's we're gonna, good. I'm gonna white wax it and do some cool transfers on it. So sometimes once the transfer starts going, it will just peel right up, which is what this is doing, which is awesome, which makes it easier when it's like a giant transfer. If for some reason your transfer does not come off the way you want it, like there's a little piece right here that didn't come off, just put it back down and it will release. They're talking about like buying it before they see how we paint it is, is half the fun. It's kind of like when you buy a mystery box. We bought a Target palette a while ago and then we filmed it and never did anything with it. And then we didn't really film the whole thing, but I have another Target palette coming. <laughs> so we're going to have a video coming with us unwrap and it's like there's like some sort of proven medical dopamine that comes from unboxings it's like a proven fact all right i'm gonna push this transfer down and then we're gonna take it around we love corner. opening gifts even if we bought it for ourselves so you just don't it's like a surprise okay so that i'm gonna leave it right like that so look, look, should I paint the base white? It's kind of brass. I think I'm going to leave it. No, I wouldn't paint the base. I was never planning. I love the metal on that. It's good. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me heat gun this. I think I can get it done if I hurry. You think you can do it? Yeah. Let's do it. So I'll show you this up close. There's like, so this is, I'm just going to put a little bit of transfer on each piece. But you can see that there's kind of cracks in this and then i'm going to lightly distress it to bring that through and then i'll white wax it so we're getting there i feel like the magic really happens with the white wax do we have sandpaper in here i don't think i got sandpaper All right, in there right before now. i get sandpaper i'm going to make sure i like to it's called burnishing you want to make sure that transfer is really adhered and especially when you've got like a a bumpy surface it's easy for it to just kind of be floating above it and you really want it to be adhered above it. We will be live next Saturday. Yeah. We'll get back. So we're we're going camping for Father's Day. Not my idea. But I know that you love to camp, but we're gonna be back by actual Father's Day. Yeah. So that way he can enjoy his breakfast in bed and being waited on. Because <laughs> when we camp it's more When we camp I do the cooking. So I'm gonna just stress this and when I distress this it kind of brings like a white layer through. So I'll show you guys up close, but we're going to get an aged look and you'll see all that texture from the piece underneath, which is why I chose the textured side, even though it is not the easiest one to do. Oh, that's cool though. Yeah. All right. It looks like it's been there all along, the whole time. All right. Now, here you go. You guys see that? Look how cool that is. Next, white wax. I'm, you, I'm glad that lid's attached. Apothecary, white wax, and the flooring transfer. Match made in heaven. This is DIY's white wax, and this is the last step. And I'm going to do all three of these the exact same way, but I'll use like different pieces of the flooring transfer. Are your parents going camping? No. Um, they, they both sleep with CPAPs, and my mom has, well, my dad has a CPAP, my mom has oxygen. Her mom could not do the, so, the campfire. Plus the elevation, the campfire. That's the other reason that we're not going to be gone. We're going to be like 8,000 feet. Yeah, we don't want my dad to miss out on Father's Day with us, so we're just going before that. And we're going to take Ty and Mariah and their boys. We're excited. We're trying out our new camping gear that we showed on the Stay at Home Shopping Network. we got to actually grab one more tent because we've got to have space for the kids. Okay, I'm just going to wet distress this just real light. I don't want to bring a ton through, but what this is going to do is any dustiness from the uh, the DIY paint or excess clay in here, it's going to help that transfer stick because I'm not You're going not to seal, seal it, it first and then I'm going to white wax over That's everything. That's living dangerously. I know, wish me luck. All right, so this is not going to be as white waxy as it would be. White waxy, is that even a word? Um, if I didn't seal it because it's not soaking up into the paint, but it's gonna get down in all the little cracky details, which I love. And then the wax will dry hard and cure, and this will be beautiful, so.
if I had not sealed it first and I just white waxed it, then it would be a lot more white waxy. But you can see it's down in all the cracks and down in all the details, down on the bottom. There's white wax and on this other side. So this is what it would look like if I hadn't put a transfer on it. We've got white wax there. So there you go. All right, Jamie, I need you to pick what transfer is going on here. Um, you're putting me on the spot. Hold on, let me go grab floral anthology. Oh, and I'm gonna be using the little mini butter crock. I'm gonna be using classic pots. This is still out of stock with IOD and us, but I have a few left, so I'm gonna use one on that, just in case you guys are wondering. I'm hoping that by the time I use every single one of these, they have it back. They, it's back in stock and I can, I'll have another one. I'm like being very careful with the last bit of them. I missed a spot. Okay. Ooh. So I used floral anthology the other day on a project it was oh it was wednesday and then i used bits and pieces of it on a couple of mirrors if you guys remember those big chunky black mirrors from a few weeks they're still in the thrift haul collection i painted those white and then i put the floral anthology transfers on it so definitely check out the thrift haul collection to see those but we can't use the big mamma jamma because that's too big no and that that deserves to go on a big huge piece of furniture or but something but these like this one I all right let me do. i think and you could do this one and I, you could do i'm that gonna one. Do, i'm gonna do this one and then if you could cut me out that one i'm gonna build and maybe a couple yeah. of these little elements so this is why i love the flat pack we Here, are now on, on project number four about. with this we did two mirrors and then i did that big um, ceiling tin and then we're gonna do this project and I still have another giant transfer on here so you can use the whole four sheets or you can just use a little bit at a time and I generally wind up using a little bit at a time. Do you want to use this anywhere? Or do you want me to cut um it? yeah cut out of that. Okay, hold on there's like this little random piece here. Not part oh of it. yeah. Your kindergarten skills are paying off. That's right. All right, and then what else did you want me to cut? The yellow one? All right, so I'm gonna put it, I'm because I want it to be here facing me. We'll turn it around. I'll turn it in a second here so you guys can see it. Sorry, Maybe I'll come up I'm gonna put this close. so that way you guys can see the flora. That's just like a little tiny piece of it. So I'll probably right. wind up putting like this on another one and that on the other one. So I'll only use like one sheet to do all three of these canisters. Okay, so this has not been sealed. Which do you want me to cut out any more or we want to wait and see? No, I need I need the yellow one too. You need the okay. yellow one? Okay, that's yeah. what that's wondering. Oh. The and it's and it's gonna wanna is spin. It's totally off label, so good luck. I don't like to do it the when paint. Wax is fresh. I didn't wax it. Oh you didn't wax it? No, I'm oh doing it goodness. directly over the paint. Oh my goodness. I gotta look away. That's the transfer master, so. It's coming off. Just know that if you do this, make sure the, the wet distress Is step. Is the heat gun supposed to be smoking? Yes, it does. That's why we face it up and away from anything and us. The, the wet know. distress on here is a critical part. It's smoking because I put it on the blanket a little. This blanket is not. Barbara says, I saw that transfer on a cake. Really? That's crazy. There's some awesome artists. I <laughs> thought out. it was Zeb's hair smoking, like his arm hair, because definitely <laughs> not his head hair. Kai says, that looks 100% better. Thank you. I love this. I love it when I find a combination like that works together, because I know when I do it, exactly what it's going to look like. I just envision it on that particular piece. And so it's, it's always a safe bet. I like to try a new You guys piece. are gonna get some bonus time because this is gonna take me a minute on this round globe that wants to move around that I didn't seal. get Zeb's pie for Father's Day. Don't worry. We we're actually talking about pie today. I'm a cake eater. Zeb's a pie eater. But every time he buys a pie, because he buys like a big apple pie, 
it always goes bad because I only eat apple pie in the winter and Zeb will eat apple gotta pie have it warm. Round. I'm yeah. like, I'll, I'll eat it however. I'm coming back over here, guys, because I need it to set it down so it's not rolling all over the place. But cake, everybody in my family loves. So we wind up having cake more than pie just because we, we know it's going to be eaten. And my dad would love to help him finish the pie, but he's a diabetic, so he really should not be eating the whole pie. I'm just going to come down here. If you guys ever had a question, now's a good time. All right. I'm Are your stay parents on. taking care of the sheep? Um, no, we haven't found somebody, but we have neighbors. We got some neighbors. We're only going to be gone like one night, so we'll make sure that they're really well taken care of before we left, and we'll have somebody check on them each day, and we'll be back. They're pretty self-sufficient. As long as you keep them water and food, they're they're going to be open. Oh, we did not show those copper pieces. Are they not listed? Oh, those two? I think they are. I just, maybe I didn't show them. Did you? I, I was showing all that stuff yes. up front. Sorry, guys. All right, so you can get some more thrift haul. They were $1.99 each. They're these little copper pieces. I don't know even what they are. I'm guessing this is some sort of like sugar dish, maybe a creamer, because this has a hole where a spoon would have been out, and we're selling for $12.95 for the set. Good eye. Thanks for catching that. Let's see. All right, while you're doing that, we're going to play what has sold. Okay, so the globe sold, the pottery train sold, um, one of the musician buffs sold, the metal canisters sold. I think those mu musician buffs are going to be really cool once we get them all painted up and done. Ornate carved candlestick from last week sold. The mug holder, the cow set, the rolling pin, the lay parfait, the pewter spoon, the white teapot, um, the candlestick set, <clears throat> the mini tins, the small dark candlestick from last week, um, the vintage pants hangers. There was one left that sold the corbel shelf. We know Leslie bought the milk jug. Both nativities. Um, surprisingly enough, the shell art with the googly eyes that we will be removing has not sold yet, but I am not, I, I know it will sell. I think once we remove the eyeballs, people are really going to see that come, come to life. Um, the jewelry box, I know that one will sell because it's going to be super cute. Um, I think that's it. So that's all that's sold. That's a pretty good night. You guys did some shopping. All right, let's see if we've got more questions here. I chopped. All right, so I'm having to rub a little bit extra because the paint is not, it's porous still. Hasn't Susan, been sealed. The jars in my window are not for sale. I picked those up when I went to France a few years ago and they're a favorite. I, I, I junk everywhere I go. So there's like little pieces all around my house from a lot of travels and that's for my France trip. Let's see. What grays on the globe? That's weathered wood, yes? Weathered wood. It will get darker um if we would just use clear wax but we're gonna use white wax so it'll get like lighter that's good. all right so i missed a couple pieces but i really like it on this weathered wood a lot that's good Seb. so it actually once we white wax it will look pretty close to what that is yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna white wax it but then i'm gonna pull it off heavy i need i need to build a little bit more so i'm gonna put that yellow one here if you guys hang out with us we'll show you i'll, I'll keep the stream going and we'll show you here what it looks like did you cut the yellow one out yeah i already did that for you oh it's up here sorry sorry i'm looking something up i don't know if those copper pieces are in thrift shop that's what i'm wondering oh nope they're right there oh good thing i caught that it's being sold as a set and it was put in as quantity two sweet okay fix that it's always crazy because when we list a lot of things on JRV Home, some of the things we buy multiples of, so it's not like, uh, it's like something we do over time and the listings are correct, but on these individual listings, it's like a lot of listings all at once. And so it gets a little crazy sometimes. Frozen custard is, is like ice cream here in the U.S. Yeah, we frozen custard from where's that place that Culver's. Has, Culver's yeah they have custard and it tastes like ice cream and they have um really yummy burgers and butter buns I also have oh, man I make a buns. I make a transfer face I'm like you can't even see my face over here do you want me to flip that up you now? can if I you can like figure out you gotta you actually have to turn the knob which knob the that. big one in the back but hold on to it so it doesn't fall okay that oh that now we're looking all right, go down. 
And a little more right there. That's great. You let me touch the camera? I'm so proud of you right now. It's, it's when you just like grab it and, and wing it. Did that you I say you nervous. had one pants hanger left? Um, it sold. We had one from last week and it sold. So now all the pants hangers are spoken They were kind of, they were the vintage wood ones that clasped. All right, that one went on really good. You can see I missed just a couple little pieces left on there. Every time we do a globe like this, they always sell really Should well. Should I do more? Oh, oh no. What is that? That's paint <laughs> from the brush. Oh, well you might want to dry that. I'm just wet distressing it. We don't normally do this on globes. Like if this globe had been in good condition, I probably would have kept it as is, but it had like a chip in the finish. And so anytime we find globes that are really cool, but maybe the the map is a little bit missing or whatever, we like to do this to them because it gives them new life. And you can like put words on it, that's really fun. Do you guys do think I need, I, don't know, I, just, I think so. I think we need more, all right, a couple more pieces. Okay, where's the, we gotta go, go quick though. Well, I'm not really moving quick, but I'll try. What did you want? I just need to fill it in. What so, about these purple flowers? Yeah, those ones would work. Um, I could probably work that into that piece okay. and that other piece. Just give me all those bottom elements right there. All right, here you go. Do you want me to cut them though so it's easy to use? Yes, please. All right, welcome. I know we're in a hurry, but I want to make sure it's right. So the back end needs needs some love. All right, all the elements are cut. Transfer at will. Kai wants to remind everybody to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, Kai. So, thank you, Kai. I second that. I <laughs> second that. Amber said, gotcha, I bought it, but I was going to say I'd take more if you had them. We've done a couple. It's, it is really, do the animals have light outside? Can they see? Like at night? No, they go to bed at night. We put them up. As soon as it gets dark, they, we don't even. They, Although, they're probably not up because. No, we got them trained pretty good. Once it gets like full in dark, they just go in their barn by themselves. The these chickens days. aren't up, so we'll have to put them up in their pin. We're moving, so the chickens and the sheep now share a pin, and we're moving the. It's, it's pen. pen. Pen, pen, whatever. Um, we're moving the, oh, I just the you chicken house you over. It like that in your, your post. Oh. Amelia's taking back the scissors so you can finish. Have you not finished those ties? No, I was doing them during your live. Oh, okay. <laughs> those are my sweatpants. You go put them back in my room. No. Uh-uh. Those are my sweatpants. Uh, you, you have plenty of pants. Do you guys have that in your house where all, everybody steals everybody else's clothing? Have you ever had a wax piece get sticky? Um, if it's humid, it can be sticky while you're waiting. Um, DIY wax, once it dries, isn't sticky anymore. Uh, Sweet Pickens wax is beeswax and is softer and can be sticky longer and take a while to cure, especially if it's humid. So what kind of wax did you use? It could also be like what was underneath it. There's a lot of variables, but I've never had that problem. But we also live in the second driest state in the nation. So everything dries hard here. Yep, not Did something. you show your swimming pool live? No, it's no. a hot mess. We will keep filming it though, and when it's all done, we're gonna do a video start to finish of the pool because it's kind of interesting how it all goes in. Um, my eldest daughter used to steal my clothes, but now she's a good foot and a half taller than me and a fair bit bigger and also lives three hours away. That happens. Yeah, so Redrick, me, my mom, Eliza, and Odelia are all kind of the same height. And in, in, I'm the biggest of all of them, but in a relatively similar size, so we wind up having lots of things commingled. Leslie says they have too many eagles to leave the chickens outside. No, they're they're fine. So we normally by now, Eliza was at a carnival, but normally by about nine o'clock, the sheep go in the sheep barn, the chickens go in the chicken house, and they go out for the night, and then we pull them out in the morning. Was mom stealing your clothes again? Renee says, no. No, mom has plenty of her own clothes. When she first came here from Arizona, it's been almost a year, I took her to our shop because COVID was going on. So she hadn't really left the house. And she went to the shop on the day that it was closed. And she went shopping and got herself a bunch of new clothes. And so she has lots of cute things. All right, I need a couple little more I've elements. I've got these two elements Are right that, here. Is that it? Because I've got this gap right here. Oh, you need bigger than that. Yeah, here. I need a little bit bigger. 
Have you seen Pool Kings on Discovery Plus? I have not. But I don't want to watch it because I feel like their pools are definitely going to be cooler than my pool. Our pool is going to be cool. It's going to be cool, but it, like, I ain't spending no 200 grand on a pool. All right, where's the scissors? Odelia took the scissors. Odelia, okay. I need to go I can back. just use the element. Just. All right, well, we can just do it later, like off camera. Yeah, I'm going to show them. Well, I need to wax it. I wanted to show them what it looked like wax. Okay, well, wax the front. Okay. And then don't wax the back so we can finish. But you could put a transfer or wax once it dries. I think she heard. Sounds like she might be Maybe coming. Maybe she's coming. Amber says she was nervous. So if you watch our video from Friday, you can actually, when you watch it all the way to the end, you can watch the pool go up and over our house because it's fiberglass, so it's like all one solid piece. Is your son home from college? Our son actually finished his first semester and then came home, and I think he's gonna go to college here um, next year. He decided that he did not enjoy being out of Utah, and with COVID, they weren't wrestling, and he was doing all of his schooling at home, and he was like, if I'm not gonna wrestle. He's doing everything online. Oh, and he got injured. He hurt both of his elbows and wasn't wrestling because of that too, so he decided to save his body and just go to school here. We have a ton of universities here in Utah, like in close proximity to where we're at. Okay, dust all over Okay, I'm gonna, we'll finish this gap off camera, but I'm gonna put a little wax on there so you guys can get the feel. All right, and this is pretty, um, I use this to wipe the wax off of this, so you can use that. All right. Oh, <laughs> so just so you guys know, from week to week, if something from a previous thrift haul has not sold, we will leave it in the thrift haul collection. So if there's something you saw a few weeks ago and you're like, oh, I wonder if it's still available, you can always check out the thrift haul collection to see what's new, but you could also go to the antique vintage found collection and that will have everything that's something that is not like like we sell a lot of wholesale goods so it's nothing mass produced or it's something that we have made it's like antique vintage and found and there's lots of fun stuff on there so those are really if you love this type of stuff those are two sections of jrb home that are good to check out and you can sort it new to old or you can even there's if you're wondering like hey maybe it was a long time ago you can search old to new and see what's on there were they able to move the pool with only one crane? Yes. Yep. I'll tell you about that in a minute. My shirt says be kind and it starts at the bottom and then if you go up it says be kind. I thought it was kind of fun. We sell these at the shop. I think we only have like smalls and mediums left if I remember. We've had them for a while. All right, I'm gonna wipe back immediately. Um, with, so the crane, the guy got here, he's set up and he's like, look at this grass and the grass was blowing that way. We live in an older neighborhood, so there's overhead electrical lines. So he was like, I don't know if I can move it. He's like, I'll lift it. And if I can't move it, I'll just set it down in your yard. Because in front of our house is a telecommunications line that's not electric. And it's actually not even connected to us because we, we don't have like a landline. We just have cell phones. Anyways, I said like, a, I asked Zeb if he prayed. He said no. He was just watching. Um, I said a little prayer. I'm like, Heavenly Father, please, please make sure that, you know, protect this crane driver, protect my house. And the wind stopped. I didn't like, pray. He was insured. <laughs> he was insured. Well, I'm insured by God. And so I said a prayer, and the wind stopped, and he got it over. But the crane driver, he's like, I never see that happen. The wind never just stops. And we had a wind advisory, so it's supposed to go all day. So it was kind of a miracle, but it happened. It got over, and everybody was safe. Carolyn, this style pool is becoming really popular just because they're, they go in in, like, a couple of weeks and they're more durable than like a gunite pool here in Utah because of the freezing. They also don't hurt your feet over time. They don't really ever have to be resurfaced. Like they do eventually, but not like, gunite pools have to be resurfaced every so often. Vinyl pools have to be relined. The one big drawback is that they are a limited like size, but whereas we don't have a huge yard and I wanted a rectangle with a hot tub, it's kind of perfect. So it worked out well. You can see where I've got a Got to finish right there. Leslie but. said, since I decluttered, I can only find two or three pairs of her 10 scissors. All right, guys, we're going to finish that off camera along with all of the projects that you didn't see us finish that we said we were going to paint. We will get those done in the next few days and get them shipped out to you. Um, be sure to hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products, jrvhome.com for the items you saw, clothes, our skincare line, and don't forget to sign up for the new DIY skincare box that is going to be on our recurring that you guys saw. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY. Love you guys.
I'm just seeing what Kai said. Oh, Jack popped in. Oh. Yeah. What What did you want to say? He's been reading. Oh, you've been reading? Can you say hi? Show hi. me your teeth are coming in. They're coming in. All right. Bye, guys.